Using the stoichiometry calculations map, we're going to calculate how many moles of oxygen are needed to prepare 25 grams of CO2. So if we look at what we're given, we're given grams of A and we're asked for moles of B. So if we look at the map that we're going to use, if we're given grams of carbon dioxide, we're going to use the molar mass to convert to moles of CO2. Then we're going to use the balanced equation to go from moles of CO2 to moles of O2. So we'll just do those in two steps. So we're going to start with what's given, 25.0 grams of CO2. We'll get out the periodic table and add one carbon, which weighs 12, to two oxygens. And each oxygen weighs 16. So this number will be 44.01 grams of CO2 per big fat one mole of CO2. So this is step one. If we're given grams, we have to go to moles. Then we're going to go to the balanced equation step because and grams of CO2 cancels grams. Now we have moles of CO2 and we're going to go to moles of O2 because that was the other formula in the question. And here is where we use the balanced equation numbers. So that two and this invisible one are the two numbers that are going to go here. And moles of CO2 cancels moles of CO2 and we're asked for moles of O2 so we know that we're done. So we're just going to take 25, divide it by 44, and multiply by 2. When we do that, the answer is 1.1, if we round that up to three significant figures, 1.14 moles of O2. And again, looking at this along with our stoichiometry map, we started with grams of CO2 because that was given and we did the molar mass step and then the only way we can convert from one formula to the other is with step two and that's the balanced equation step. Here we did not have to convert to grams of oxygen because the question asked for moles. So since we were asked for moles, step three was not necessary. So we only convert from moles to grams if the question asks us to do so.